What's good and welcome back to my channel. For anybody new here, my name is Eleni. So today what I'm going to be doing is another makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do this eyeshadow look. It, I am using the Blue Honey Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. In previous videos, I got a lot of questions asking about what palette I was using as well as if I could do a makeup tutorial. And I thought today would be the perfect day to do that because I just got finished getting ready to go meet up with my friends. So, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. Also, tell me in the comments if you would like to see more beauty and makeup routines in future videos. So, for using this eyeshadow palette, I like to wear it a lot on date night or girls night out, and it's really fun to match my eyeshadow to my outfit. So when I plan ahead for what I'm going to wear, I then do my makeup accordingly. I like to pair my eyeshadow with a nice like royal blue shirt or dress or even a brown or black top so that way my makeup just pops. And also it's nice to do a nice neutral or brown lipstick to go along with it. When I'm doing my eyeshadow, I like to play around and experiment with different colors. Sometimes I do my makeup based on my mood and also just, you know, about what I'm doing that day. So, on to the makeup tutorial using the Blue Honey Palette. So, like I said, this is the Blue Honey Palette. I actually still kept it in the box because I love how the box still has the blue on it. This is what it looks like. And then these are the colors. There's a lot of beautiful blue shades in here as well as a lot of golds. That's why it's like the Blue Honey palette. When I bought this palette, I was really unsure of, you know, the color combinations and if I would like the blue, but I've been really getting into playing with colors. So Honestly, this is one of my favorite palettes now. It's very bright, it's different for me, and I do think it looks really good for, you know, the fall and winter. First step, I'm going to be putting in my hair clips. They're creaseless, so they won't mess up my hair, but this, I just really like to keep my hair out of my face when I'm doing makeup, because I feel like it gets in the way, and then it gets makeup on it, and it's a whole disaster. So next up, the most important step when I am putting on eyeshadow is putting on Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is my new favorite one. Every time I wear eyeshadow because I play around with a lot of colors and pigmentation, I always put on the primer. Now my primer is on and it's set, so my eyes are ready to go. The first color I am going to be using is I'm going to lightly sweep over this light color right here. It's called Raw. That I'm just gonna gently dip my brush in and then just sweep this over the whole base of my lid. Just like that. All right. So now going into using the this yellow color, it's a beautiful yellowish gold color and it's called Sweet Like Honey. I'm going to be taking this color and just sweeping it all over my crease. I have the yellow right here blended out on my crease. It looks beautiful. So now the next color I'm using is this one right here and it's called Busy Bee. Doing the same thing with that, I'm going to be putting Busy Bee right below the yellow still on the crease, but just a little bit further down to highlight the crease of my eyelid as well go down onto the actual lid itself. On to the next color. I'm using this one down here and it is called Honeymoon. 
doing the same thing, almost putting it on the exact same place as Busy Bee, and this is just to help uh, blend it nicely, to have a nice smooth transition from one color to the next. It's always important to remember that you can never blend too much because we absolutely do not want those harsh lines anywhere. Now we finished using our three colors here, so I'm just going to gently wipe off any excess eyeshadow that's on this brush and dip back into our yellow Sweet Like Honey here to blend any, um, any harsh lines that formed. I feel like I already blended this very nicely, so I don't really need to, but it's just um, kind of like a precaution. And this is what it looks like so far. So now on to the next step. This is where I'm going to be moving into using the blue like honey color right here, as well as the royal jelly sparkle afterwards. Um, I, I used to use a nice fluffy brush to spread the blue honey on my lid. However, I just, I noticed there was a lot of fallout and it wasn't as pigmented as I would like it to be. So for this step, we're going to be putting on the blue like honey with our ring finger. So I'm just gonna dab it in, looks like that, and gently sweep this over our lid. I already have my foundation on right now, so I need to be careful to not have too much fallout. But applying it with my ring finger really helps. And this is what it looks like so far. My finger is also help blending it out, but I'm gonna go back in and touch it up. So it's not really detrimental at this point to make sure it looks like perfect, but I still, I don't want any harsh lines. Going back in for the other lid. This is what it looks like so far, and now I'm going to go back in with Honeymoon as well as Busy Bee to just blend out the blue. All right, so this is looking basically how I want it to look. So now I'm going in with the shimmery blue called Royal Jelly. It's this one right here. I'm going to be using the same ring finger that I've been working with the blue honey with to now sweep over my shimmery blue. Now that I have the shimmery blue on, just going to be going back in with Busy Bee to do any excess blending to make sure we don't have any of those lines and also blending it in with the Sweet Honey, that nice golden yellow color. And this is it for my eyeshadow. Next up, I'm going to be using the NYX eyeliner. It's the marker and I'm going to be applying a cat eye. As you can see, I did my eyeliner. I did some nice cat eye wings, so good to go with that. Now the next step is to put on my false eyelashes. Again, I'm using the Eyler eyelashes. These are eyelashes number eight. They're, they look like this. Like I've said in previous tutorials, I do reuse my eyelashes and rewear them. Every, after each use, when I take off my false eyelashes, I clean them and I take off any glue that's left over and I also like to put them back in the box because that just keeps them intact for longer. I don't remember how many uses the eyelashes say you can get out of them, but I definitely got a lot more considering I wear false eyelashes a lot and I probably keep a pair for about a month or a month and a half um, until I need a new one. And even then I don't really need a new one, I just find that the eyelashes start to get a little a little less voluminous and maybe a little flat. 
So I put um, a good amount of glue on the eyelash band and I'm letting that get tacky. Now that the eyelash glue is tacky, I'm just going to gently lay the lashes just above my natural lash line and use the tweezers to secure them in place. All right, both of my false eyelashes are now on and they're just, um, the glue is just drying while it's on my lash line. Every time I do my makeup now, like I had said, I have been wearing false eyelashes for, I don't know, eight, 10 years now, probably like, like going, it's 10 plus years now, honestly. And I feel like without false eyelashes, my makeup look is incomplete. I just, I do feel that my false eyelashes, it's just my opinion, but they really do bring my whole makeup look together. And I almost feel naked without my lashes. Next, I'm going to be applying eyeshadow to my lower lash line, and I'm going to be starting with the Blue Honey eyeshadow. To apply eyeshadow to my lower lash line, I'm using a very small and thin fine tip brush. So, and with the Blue Honey, just gently dip it in and then lightly dab it on your lower lash line. Now I have the Blue Honey on and I'm going to be just gently wiping this brush off and going back in to apply the Honeymoon color, kind of like on top of the Blue Honey just to blend it out. All right, now that that's done, because this is the Blue Honey palette, I of course want to go in with the color Bumble. It is this beautiful gold color right here. And with my clean ring finger, I'm going to be getting the color on there, just like that. And applying this to the inner corner of my eye to really have a beautiful golden-like honey. And that's it for the eyeshadow. And now, like always, I want to apply mascara to my lower lash line. And that is it for my eyes, but no makeup look is complete without finishing your lips. So I'm first going to go in with my lip liner and line my lips. Now that they are aligned, I am using a nude brown color from Mary Kay. It is called Maple, and I do not have very much of this left. I've had it for a very long time now, but I want to use a nice nude or a neutral brown shade because of how much color is on the lids. I don't want to use a red. That would just be far too much. And that is it for this Blue Honey makeup tutorial. Again, this was a Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, and I also use NYX eyeliner as well as Mary Kay lipstick. But if you would like a full tutorial of how I do my foundation and everything else, please check out one of the other makeup tutorials that I have done in the past because I showed you guys how I do my entire face. I wanted to make this video shorter, so I decided just to do my eyeshadow. I like to do different eyeshadow looks and use different colors depending on my mood or what I have planned to wear for that evening or that day. With this look, I will probably wear either a black or brown outfit or even blue. I also like to match my nails to the color of my eyeshadow, but I already have them painted lavender, so I'm not going to repaint them, but it would be fun to do a nice blue nail with this look. So this is the finished Blue Honey eyeshadow look. 
This is a very beautiful and bold and dramatic look for a fun night out with friends or I, even if you're just playing around for Instagram pictures. I absolutely love this palette. It's so beautiful, pigmented, and it really, I feel like, goes with any skin complexion depending on how you use it because you got those, the nice royal blue tones as well as some golden tones and neutral brown shades. I hope you liked this video. I hope you experiment with these colors. If you have the palette or you have eyeshadow that's similar to these colors, so please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. Also be sure to let me know if you would like to see more beauty routine tutorials. See you next time.